how do you how do you like to approach what is expected to be a big game atmosphere? Yeah, I think just like any other week, um, we did a great job preparing last week in our bye week, getting better as a team and a unit. And this this week's been great. Um, started off practicing on Monday, had a little bonus day, and we're in good hands. And we like games like this, and we love to play them in Tiger Stadium. You guys are doing so much well right now. Is it just about refining it, or do you really want to add to the resume and, and maybe add some things in that people haven't seen you do so far this year? Yeah, I think pretty much it's simple. I mean, the things we've been doing is good. Uh, we just got to fix those little things. And we put everything on tape, really. It's just about perfecting it and executing to the best of our abilities. Uh, last year, you guys scored a lot of points over there. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was a loss. And Coach Kelly's talked about it kept maybe kept you out of a playoff spot and some other things. I mean, um, Savion talked about them running onto the field. Do you have any memories of last year? and? How, how that impacts this year's game? Yeah, of course we remember last year, but I mean, it's a new year, new season, so we're focused on this week and Saturday night, so um, as long as we go out there and execute and when offense has opportunities, go out there and score. But what about Nuss leading you in, into a game like this and the way he's played so far this year? Yeah, I mean, he's made us a lot, uh, a lot more confident. And he's, he's pushing us every day in practice and um, he's getting us to ready to play this game, and I think um, you could tell just our communication as an offense is getting better every single week, and all those little things are coming together. Yeah, do you feel like the offensive line is, is ready to show people kind of what they're capable of? They've, they've had some moments, right, and had some, some penalties, you know, some mm -hmm. things that maybe you could clean up in a bye week. Do you feel like that's where you guys are at? Yeah, just a little, those little mental errors, that's all. And uh, um, I think they have a great defensive line, and it's going to be a true challenge. So, I mean, I think our offensive line is, is great, and they're up for the challenge for sure. Um, we've seen that Ole Miss has some firepower in their offense. Uh, what do y'all want to highlight as y'all's strengths in the y'all's offense? I think we have everything Everything we can do, our run game, our pass game. I think just being balanced and just being where the defense doesn't know what we're going to do. Um, if they want to stuff the box, we can throw it deep. If they want to drop eight, we can run the ball. So as long as we do what we're coached to do, our, our play caller, Coach Salone, is going to do amazing calling these plays. Do you ever look around college football and see what other coaches are doing with their offense and be like, oh, that's cool. I wish we could do some of that. Or is it really you just you got a limited amount of time and you're focused on what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we're kind of focused on what we're doing as an offense. But I mean, you see some plays that some people run and be like, oh, that's clever. And some people copycat off of some other teams. But I think what we're doing as an offense has been great. And as long as we perfect those things and get those things right to the little details will be great. Coach Kelly talked about how much they've improved defensively. What do you see from their defense from a year ago to now? Yeah, I think they've improved. Um, every single week you could see that it's getting better and better and they're starting to click on all these little things. And I think in practice just the competitiveness has, has gone up every single week and we push each other to get better every single day as an offense and as, as a defense. With a game like this, you know, has heavy SEC implications, playoff implications. How much does practice change intensity-wise, the locker room, attitudes, everything you bumped up a few notches, would you say? Yeah, I mean, uh, in the SEC, every single week is going to be a hard game. So I think it's just one of those things that we're up for the challenge. And I think it's the best opportunity to play it in Tiger Stadium. Our fans get to help us out, um, be there and be loud, and it's going to help us. So um, just heading into the game with a bunch of confidence because of that. Do you feel that? Like, do you, on around Thursday, Friday, you start to feel the juice kind of on yeah. campus? And, mm, like, for what's sure. that like as a player? I mean, exactly. Like I just said, I mean, it, it helps us a lot for our fans to show up and for it to be for it to be loud for the defense and their offense. I mean, it just helps. It's a game changer because when we're on the road as an offense, I can tell you, um, when it's loud, it's hard to play in. So if our fans show up like they do every game, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be helpful for us. So. We see some flashes of Trey Des Green, you know, a true freshman. You know, he scored a touchdown. In a few years, what are the Tigers going to get, or even next year, from him? Yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, tremendous. He's um, he's getting better every single week, um, and you, it shows. I mean, in practice, we're doing more 12 personnel because we trust the tight ends more, and um, that's with Pimp and Trey Des's improvement. So, as long as we keep doing that, uh, we'll definitely have more opportunities down the road.